Digital transformation demands agility. It is driving enterprise on-prem data centers into public clouds. But what is the right cloud for my business? I have business which requires high performance servers. Maybe AWS cloud is what I need. However, recently we started using Office 365 and migrated content to OneDrive. Azure Cloud and Express Route seems to be the right thing to use. But our business strongly depends on the AI. And I guess GCP is the best place for it. On the other hand, our cloud first policy requires existing Oracle Exadate to be moved to the public cloud. Does it mean I need to use Oracle Cloud? I know what I need for my business. I need the best service from each cloud. I need multi-cloud. All good, but now I need a multi-cloud backbone to connect all clouds, all cloud services. Aviatrix offers me repeatable architecture in clouds, high performance encryption, visibility, and everything can be provisioned in a structure as a code way. In less than one hour, I have my unified data plane across all clouds across multiple regions. This looks great, but now I want to make sure that my business is not slowed down with manual processes. How to make cloud easy to use? I'm an application developer. I'm good developing applications, but creating network is not what I want to do. I haven't decided which cloud I want to use. My application are cloud agnostic. My clients are based in Singapore. My instances require different access to public internet. I know Java and I don't have time to learn Terraform. I know what IP subnet is, but I don't have knowledge about cloud networking constructs. The missing piece is user-friendly portal service, which allows users to work the way they want to, not how software dictates they have to. ServiceNow offers such portal. ServiceNow translates business requests into IPA calls and sends them to Terraform Cloud. Terraform Cloud pulls the code from version controlling system like GitHub and uses Aviatrix Terraform provider. Aviatrix control controller as a brain of the whole operation provisions networking and security services across all public clouds. Let's connect to ServiceNow portal and deploy advanced networking services. Instances should have access to public internet, but not to social media. I need a VPC for around 80 instances close to Singapore. I can select any public cloud in any region, but this time AWS is the best choice for me. In just a few clicks, I have my first service ticket. This time I didn't need anyone to approve my request, but this step can be added in service now. I see the first ticket update. Terraform Workspace was created. Let's move to Terraform Cloud. Terraform Cloud receives API calls to create a new workspace, which is our ticket number. Terraform Cloud just completed a planning and moved to applying the code. Using a Vietrix provider, it creates VPC with public and private subnets. It deploys a Vietrix gateway for egress filtering and list of domains which will be blocked by the gateway. Terraform apply task has finished and we see Terraform output. But how Terraform knows what resources should be created? We find the answer in Terraform variables. ServiceNow translates input from the user into Terraform variables. I selected AWS and this corresponds to repository FOX egress AWS. Singapore is episode east one. We see domain name which will be blocked and address space. Terraform code is pulled from the VC repository. Let's go there. This is the GitHub repository with Terraform code. For all public clouds and all regions, we need only one provider, a Vietrix provider. This is the main code, just 50 lines to deploy VPCs and egress filtering gateway but I'm application developer. I don't need to know this. 
All information I need are in ServiceNow ticket. Few minutes after the ticket was opened, I know what my private and public subnets are, what is the VPC ID, and I'm sure that users will not waste their time on Facebook. Multi-cloud networking never been so simple to use.